Hey everyone, Myron here. I know I said the next episode of the Academy would be focused on smash attacks, but I felt it important to lay down all the details of the Pikmin themselves before I talk about the attacks using them. So think of this more as an in-between episode instead of a full one. Anyways, let's get into the fun stuff. Red Pikmin are the first Pikmin plucked in the set order, that order being red, yellow, blue, white, and purple. They have a 1.4 times multiplier for damage and knockback on smashes and aerials, and have a 0.8 multiplier on throws. In addition to this, they have an immunity to fire damage, so attacks like PK Fire or Flamethrower won't damage them. Red Pikmin generally tend to excel in smashes and aerials due to their boosted power while retaining their range on smashes. Their grab damage can also be a benefit as well, allowing you to combo up percentages you normally couldn't due to the reduced knockback. Red Pikmin also have 6% health. Next up is Yellow Pikmin, one of my personal favorites as well. Yellows don't have any boost to their damage, however, they make up for it with their larger hitboxes and increased hit lag. They have 50% larger hitboxes on smashes, aerials, and side special, and have electric properties, meaning they are not only immune to energy-based attacks like Charge Shot or Thunder Jolt, but they also have increased hit lag, making follow-ups off your smash attacks more consistent. Some of their best uses are for outspacing an opponent with an aerial or using their larger hitboxes to hit opponents grabbing the ledge. Down Smash and Down Air are especially strong in this case. They have 6% health as well. Blue Pikmin are the only other color with no real drawback either. While they have base damage, knockback, and range on all their smashes and aerial attacks, they do have a 1.7 times multiplier on their throws. This means they are your primary Pikmin for landing kill throws. Not only that, but they can be great for just making the most out of your throws. At low percent, a blue down throw into a purple forward air can be a guaranteed 34%, or a blue back throw with 3 Pikmin can be a free 23% when they are too high to combo. Their specific immunities are a bit niche, but have some uses. They're immune to water attacks, an example being Corn Counter, and they take longer to drown in water. Blues also have more health than all but purple, sitting at 8%. White Pikmin are the most unique of the group, I'd say. They have a 0.8 multiplier on smashes and aerials, making them not ideal for attacks normally. However, while they don't do any extra damage on throws, they do have a longer grab range and a larger grab box. This makes them a strong candidate for catching the opponent with a pivot grab when they are trying to approach. They also do the most damage off of side B. While the first three colors do 2.4% per tick, white does a staggering 5.6% which makes them ideal for latching on right before you start a combo. White Pikmin have the lowest health at 5% so they'll filter out of your line quickly but can leave a big impact. Now we've reached my favorite Pikmin, the purple. These behemoths have a lot of strength with only a few drawbacks. Their main strength comes in the form of a 1.6x multiplier on their smashes and aerials, making them the perfect candidate for taking stocks with most of your attacks. However, they do have a drawback in the form of their reduced range slash active frames on certain attacks. Purple aerials are just like others, only stronger. However, forward smash and down smash do have less range and a few less active frames. Don't let this fool you though, they are still some of the best Pikmin for those attacks. They also have less range on grabs by a decent bit, meaning you'll generally want to avoid grabbing with them. Last but not least, we'll talk about their real strength. When thrown for side B, they have an active hitbox that instead of latching, causes knockback. This allows purple to be used for all kinds of offensive and defensive play, primarily excelling in high pressure and taking stocks early. They also have the most health of all Pikmin, with 11%. And that wraps up the different Pikmin properties. I hope you all learned something here today, and if not, that means you'll be all the more ready for the next lesson. If you enjoyed the video, please feel free to leave a like, and please share the video and subscribe, since it helps me produce more content for you all. Have a good day, and I'll see you all next time.